it's at 4.30, so I call this uh, meeting of the license hearing and public safety committee uh, open. All right, uh, do the roll call. Alderman Rust and Perella are excused. Alderman Heideman? Here. Alderman Peterman? Here. And Vice Chair Lafayette is uh, working as the chair tonight, and I'm here. Okay. Uh, I think we could skip past number four. No, we're going to the pledge. Oh, yeah, we got to go to the pledge. Please join me. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, then now I said we could uh, probably skip over everybody here knows everybody. Pretty much. And uh, we'll go to five. Uh, I'll ask for a motion. New mm -hmm. approval. Second. Okay, it's been approved. I mean, it's been moved. And second it. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? The chair votes aye. It passes. All right. Now into uh, ordinance, our agenda number six, general ordinance number 15 24 25, and ordinance amending sections 14 308 and 14 309 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code. So as to allow food trailers to be food trucks. Uh, do we have any discussion on that? Um, well, I'd like or uh, do, we, do we have a motion to, to approve? I'll move to approve. I just want to point out that it says General Ordinance 15-24-25 on the piece of paper and on the, the notes that I have, it's 14-24-25. I don't know which hmm. is correct. I have, I, on, on, the the, on what I have, it's... Uh, 1524 25. Yeah, 15 24 25. Also, on uh, okay, you know what? I'm looking at the wrong spot. Okay, oh. I understand. Okay. Well, I'll move to approve. I'll second. Okay, and under and, and uh, under, discussion. Under discussion. Okay, <clears throat> so this came about because we're getting more and more trailers. Are, are the food trucks are the, is that is the food truck going away and the food trailer is coming in? I don't know, but it came in, I understand, because there was. A misunderstanding of what was allowed um, and so there were apparently licenses issued to trucks that weren't trucks but um, there are some that have trailers and and, and basically when you, your committee discussed this when we originally passed the ordinance they chose at that time to not allow trailers because of concerns about the length um, we've dealt with the we've dealt with that partially by basically, uh, well, the length as well as the fact that they can't move if they're not hooked up. Okay. We, we've dealt with the moving part by requiring that they have to be hooked up. That doesn't necessarily deal with the length issue. They, I, I will say downtown, which is when this ordinance initially happened, the food trucks were all downtown. They won't be able to, the lengthier ones aren't going to be able to be downtown anyway because they can't be longer than two um, parking spaces. But if they're not in a marked parking space, it, it, you know, it, you potentially have that issue and it's just whether you care about that being an issue or not. So, so when we're looking at the ball right there, you really have all that. Okay. It is by having these people come in with, with trailers and trucks. Does that alleviate somebody that's been coming there for a long time with a food truck and now he can't find a space? Well, no. So this actually makes that problem that makes that problem worse because the length is a lot longer. So if if only self-contained trucks could park there, they could fit a lot more than if you have a, a truck that's pulling a trailer oh, because okay. those are a lot longer. Okay. So, so that and that's why the committee didn't approve it this way initially. You just have to decide whether you care about that anymore. Now, this this could be uh, a problem for safety in case you needed to have the uh, the entities moved quickly. Well, that's dealt with by the fact that it is still it is required. We added the requirement now since we're taking away the requirement they have to be a singular vehicle. We're adding a requirement that that they have to be hooked up. So when they're when they're parked on the street, they have to be hooked up. Okay. 
So you could take that away, but then you'd have the other, the opposite problem, which is not being able to drive away. Um, I just want to say that we um, just have had a few people interested in a trailer. Um, I did do a look, a little bit of looking at other municipalities and what they accept as their mobile food. Um, Green Bay, La Crosse, Oshkosh, Janesville, Waukesha, and Appleton all allow trailers. Um, it is, Eau Claire didn't really say it, neither did Racine, but about all of those trailers are included with their food trucks. So this is common practice? From what I was able to see, it is common practice to allow motorized and something that is Attached. Attached to a motorized vehicle, yes. So, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. so as long as the truck is attached to the trailer and they can move, uh, say something happens to the truck and they can't move it, then what? So then they'd be in violation of the ordinance as it's amended because they have to be attached to a, a vehicle that can move yeah, and, with a licensed driver and all that. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Okay, we have a motion and a second on the floor. No. Uh, all those in favor, please state aye. 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 No. And uh, the chair votes aye. So that passes. Okay, and then uh, item number seven, RO number 43-24-25 by the city clerk submitting various license applications. Um, for this one, this relates to a uh, the staff is recommending that um, it, we grant the uh, Class A and beer and Class A cider licenses for um, the Sheboygan store application. Um, and I know I put on the uh, uh, paper here saying holding. I should have put grants contingent um, for the change of premises applications. Um, both of the change of premises applications should be granted contingent as long as the applicants can show that they have permission to be on um, the change premise property. Right now, we're sort of dealing with an issue where the entities that are requesting to have a change of premises aren't the actual owners of the premise that they're trying to host their new thing, their, uh, their, their thing on. So um, we just wanna make sure that we're upholding property rights of those owners, making sure that you know they have those property rights. And once we get you know permission from those property owners, then the licenses should be granted. Thank you, Chair. Are we talking about the house divided? Yes. Okay, so they don't own the, they're asking for the request for the day, but they don't own the property, so. So it's according to the most up-to-date county um, land records on our like Sheboygan County map and our tax parcel records, it shows that the um, LLC or the entity that technically currently owns that property is not the L entity that applied for gotcha. the license so okay. if they can show you know that they own that property we're all set it should okay. be granted but it's the whole yeah it's the, the whole, whole premise though it's even their building it's yeah. not mm -hmm. so they just want to go into their parking lot but it's, <laughs> it's just the land records aren't correct yeah. Yeah. correct okay. it's the whole parcel yeah yes okay, okay i'll uh, i'll accept a motion motion to approve with, with, contingency, with yeah. contingencies i'll second Oh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Chair votes aye. Passed. Okay. Our next meeting date will be August 28th, 2024. And uh, seeing that that's the end of our agenda here, I'll have to accept the motion. Move to adjourn. Second. Okay. All those in favor of adjournment say aye. Aye. Opposed? Chair votes aye. We're not hurt anybody at both. Thank you.